But uh, we're gonna today we're gonna talk about faith. <clears throat> now, um, I want to really get into the word, but I really want to challenge you on some things when it comes to faith. Um, a lot of times, uh, we um, believe, but we don't make any moves on what we believe. Uh, we have lazy, lazy Christians always want God to do stuff. God, go to the hospital. God, go to the highways. God, go to the byways when he wants you to go. All right, so so we're going to get this lazy waiting on God type of thing out of our spirit. When you, when you talk about waiting on God, you know, uh, people like don't get ahead of God or or wait on God. That's the wrong wait. It's it's wait like waitress, which means serve. So you are serving. All right. Uh, uh, if you're waiting, most of the times, um, people, you know, you make a move and you say, well, man, I, I don't hear from God. And most of the times, uh, God is not saying something because you hadn't done the last thing that He told you to do. All right. So if you uh, imagine a navigation system. Um, when you're driving and, uh, you know, it says make right turn, all right? They're not going to tell you the rest of the directions until you make the right turn, all right? And a lot, of, a lot of times we want God to give us the entire thing that he wants us to do so that you can analyze it and, and look to the end of it and say, nah, I'm not doing that. When God wants to take a journey with you to go step by step, throughout the uh, your your faith so your faith is a journey a relationship with God uh, your faith is expressed on e even even what you call God uh, I, I'm learning what you call God nowadays my sister who was leading worship uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very attentive uh, to things of the spirit and she was all she was saying Abba she was saying father she was saying and which tells you the distance in relationship if you come up to me because some of y'all just know me by Canton Jones all right so if you come up to me based on what you address me as I know the proximity of our relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. all right if you say Canton Jones I know you know me by music yeah, yeah. all right if you say Pastor Canton I know you go to our church all right if you say Kajo I know you know me by uh like a different type of music, like you really dissect what I'm saying in my music because you know me because I call myself Kajo. All right, and that's the name of our regular. If you call me daddy, you my child. If you call me baby, you my wife. All right, there are people that call me CJ. If they call me CJ, that means you've known me before I got saved. That's my street. <laughs> See, so, so based off of what they call me, I know the proximity of our relationship. Yeah, yeah. All right. So based off what you call God. Yeah, yeah. All right. If you call him God, then you know him as God. You know, you, you know him as as the creator. But if you call him father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So 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 Jesus said uh, when the disciples said, how do we pray? He said the first thing that you have to do, you got to get the name right. You have to say, our Father, which art in heaven, holy or hallowed be thy name. All right? Now, this is the prayer. He, he says, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, we pray, uh, we may pray for sickness. We may pray for, and, and this is, I'm not even getting into faith yet. We, we're going to start with faith, but God just want me to go here first. All right? We may play, pray, let's just say there's things that's going on. Um, you may pray for the government. You may pray for the president, the governor. You may pray for uh, sickness, disease. You may pray for finances. But Jesus says, pray that your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So basically, heaven is perfect. All right. So heaven is perfect. There is no sickness. There is no disease in heaven. There is no backbiting. There is no lies. There is none of that. So he says, pray that that culture comes from heaven on earth and everything that you need is included in that culture. All right. So when the kingdom comes, blind eyes open. When the kingdom comes, the sick are healed. When the kingdom comes, you got money. When the kingdom comes, you don't have stress. When the kingdom comes, so you got to pray that the kingdom come and the will of God be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so when you start acting like a, a king's kid, 
that, that it takes faith. Look at look here. It takes faith to be like Paul says, I've wronged no man. Yeah. Now, Paul, you killed all these Christians. But it took a faith for him to take his seat in heavenly places. Yeah. All right. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to challenge y'all today because a lot of us are more devil conscious than we are God conscious. Right. Come on now. Break it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, know, we know everything about the devil. Yeah. Oh, the devil is busy. But God is busier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the devil going to get you. No, God got me. So most of our, our, our mindset is an escape from hell and study, uh, instead of a journey into the heavenlies. Yeah. All right? Uh, uh, once you got saved, the devil's defeated. Yeah. Everything else is a journey with God. Yeah. All right? Um, my, my, this is where my faith is. Everything that I've done in my life is now my new floor. My old ceiling is now my new floor. Yeah. All right? My old ceiling, everything that I've accomplished, the height of my career, the height of my ministry, the height of it is now my new floor by faith. We talk about faith. I'm, ta I'm, I'm, I'm talking my faith first. Before I get in the word, I'm, I'm just letting you know where I am yeah. in my faith. All right? Yeah. Money is too slow for me. It'll show up, but, more, but, but what I got on me is called favor. Uh, I got fa I got favor on me, so if I ain't got the money, it, it's going to get here some kind of way. You understand what I'm saying? We're looking at the world system and trying to get God's stuff out of the world system. All right? So, so you got to walk by faith and not by what you see, not by sight. The enemy is going to show you all type of stuff so that you can say, you, you know what the power is? The power is where? All right, so if the power of life and death is in your tongue, the enemy is trying to get you to say something. Yeah. All right, so the news comes on and it says that this there's a new disease that's happening. And there's this, this, and people are dying and all that. Now, what you say is critical to how this thing is going to impact you. First thing I say, okay, well, I guess they have a pandemic. Come on. I, I guess they. I guess they're in a pandemic. I, I guess. I guess. Well, uh, all right. Okay. Well, a thousand may fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it won't come near me nor my children. I don't care. I, it doesn't matter who sneezes on me. I, I don't. I don't care. I'm not living in fear. I don't live in that. I, I live in the kingdom. A kingdom bubble is what I live in. All right. So I govern myself as a king's kid and not a, ch a child of the world. All right, so that stuff don't affect me. Now, the thoughts may come in my mind, uh -huh. but it won't come out of my mouth. Come on. Come on now. Speak it. The what if goes in my head. Man, what if? What if? Man, what if dude got it? You know? You know? I remember. Was, I, let me tell you something. When that thing first broke out, man, somebody sneezed on the plane and the plane went silent, <laughs> like somebody was shooting. All right. So, so, so I was like, man, I'm not going to live in this fear. Uh, uh, perfect love casts out fear. That's the word. Uh, what I know about God and his love for me, he won't let nothing hurt me. Now, that has to come out of my mouth. Even though I was afraid, but I wasn't in fear. You heard what I said? I was afraid, but I wasn't in fear. Afraid is how you feel. Fear is what you do. Afraid is how you feel. Fear is what you do. Faith is what you do. All right? So you can feel fear. You can have a pain in your body, and it feels like you have the symptoms of cancer. But you have to say, I'm here. I'm, ta I'm talking faith. This is faith here. All right? You cannot say what you feel because what you feel can change. All right? And what you feel will go based off what you say. So I always say what I want. I don't say what I see. I say what I want to see. And even if I'm looking at what I don't want to see, 
I call those things that be not as though they were. All right? So when you are walking in faith and living by faith, there's a confidence to not let death come out of your mouth. Even if that's what they said. I will not empower the devil to kill me. I have, I, I, so I have faith. So, so when I, when, whatever Jesus says, ooh, it comes to pass. All right? And so you have to make sure that you put his words in your mouth. Now, if the enemy, if you put the devil's words in your mouth, it will come to pass as well. All right? You, 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 you get, there are people that's living out the words of other people. Based off what they said to you, you're living it out. Well, this is what was said. My wife uh, told me that she was doing ballet as a kid. And the, and, the, and the lady said that you can't do ballet based off your body type. All right, now, I'm going to tell you something. My mama is one of them old school. She knew how to cuss you out without using curse words. She was a holy woman now. My woman, but, but she did not play about her kids. All right, and so there, there are certain things that, oh, my God, she always kept us confident in the words that she would say. No, you can do it. You can do it. You can do this. You can do this. And if she found out that somebody else was talking any type of way to her kids, she was going, ooh, child, you not mine. All right, and so today we are going to boost faith. All right, first of all, Get yourself out of the mud of where you think your, your, your tomorrow is. Basically, basically, some of us are hopeless. Like even now, even in church, like, man, we, I just know that I got to go to work tomorrow. I don't want to see that boss. I don't want to go to that. Oh, man, I got to take these, get these kids up to school, and I got to pick them up. And you just got so much stress out of, out, of a, out of a phenomenal life, but you got a bad perspective. You got a phenomenal life, but you got a bad perspective. You got a phenomenal life, but you got a bad perspective. You have a, a phenomenal life, but you have a bad pers perspective. You have a phenomenal life, but you have a bad perspective. You have a phenomenal life, but you have a bad perspective. Your life is good. You just don't see it. You have a phenomenal. You just have a bad perspective. All right, so, so most of the times, the, en whew, the enemy doesn't want you to see what's yours and keep you in the rut, and the rut comes because of what you keep saying. All right, so, so let's go to the basics of it, and we're going to get to the scriptures, and then we're going to get to the revelation part of this thing. All right, uh, 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 Hebrews 11, 1, this is, this is just the basics of faith, um, the scriptures, I'll give you time to get to it, Hebrews 11 and 1. All right, so we know this. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. All right, so if the enemy knows that, the first thing he's going to attack is your hope. He's going to make you hopeless. He's going to make you not hope for nothing. Like, man, I, I don't wish for no new car. This is just what I have. I guess I'm just here. I don't wish for another, uh, you know, another outfit. I'm just, you know, you know, and, and religion tells you to settle for where you are. All right. Now, you got to think about being a king's kid. All right. A king's kid. All right. You're a child of the most high God. The Bible says that those that are led by the spirit of God are the sons of God. There's another level to just being a Christian. All right. There's another level from, from just being saved. There's another level from there, there's evidence. There should be evidence of sonship in your life. All right. All right. My, my wife is, is a vocalist. Um, um, I, I do music. So all my kids do music. Th th there's a sonship that I can tell that that's my child because they do what I do. All right. So God is like, I can tell that you're my child because you do what I do. And everything starts with hope. All right, Where, what are you hoping for? Have you hit the plateau of your life and you just in a rut and that's it? What does tomorrow look like for you? Are you dreaming? All right, are you, are you, man, man, uh, they told me, the guy, um, uh, uh, Truett Cathy, the, the guy that was running Chick-fil-A, uh, 92 years old, still talking about uh, new 
visions and new recipes and all of that, that he had so much life in him that, he, you know, you know, and, and of course he went home to be with the Lord now, but, but, but at 92, he, he was still walking around because he had so much hope for the, for the vision. All right, your hope is not just in your house and your car and, and this is it and I got the perfect job, my husband left or whatever, 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 and you're, and you're hopeless. Faith is built off hope. Hope is tied into dreams and visions. All right, so you have to dream again. All right, now I know you got your mask on, but you look socially distanced. Um, so as, as we come to, to some type of revelation, I want to put an exercise to it. So you got to say something. All right, now some of y'all need to dream. And a dream is don't 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 do a sorry dream or a low dream because you think you can achieve that. Don't say something. You need to say something out of your reach so you know God has to participate. <laughs> Woo! That's how you that's how you 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 turn your faith on. It's, it's gotta be out of your reach. It's gotta be something that you can't do. Because if you can't do, you, if you can do everything that's needed in your life, then you made yourself God in your life. I need God. I need God. So, so he's going to always tell me to do something out of my reach. Man, I was doing music for a long time. You going to tell me to be a pastor? Come on, man. You can't pick this dude. This man went to school for all this, man. It, you got no time to be no pastor, God. Come on, bro. I, Man, can anybody else do this? Well, can I read the Bible off my phone? Okay. Can I wear boots in the pulpit? <laughs> so, first thing you got to have is hope. What are you hoping for? If you're hoping for nothing, you got to get out of that because you, you ain't going to have no faith if you have no hope. All right, what are you hoping for? You kids, y'all need to be dreaming, man. I want to be a football player, basketball player, lawyer, doctor, be it all. Dream. So, so where's the power? Where's the power? Power's in your tongue. Power's not in your thoughts. Power's in your tongue. Power's in your tongue. All right, so you have to say this stuff. Now, this stuff is going to be hard to say. When you have a dream that's bigger than you, it's, it feels weird to say it. If you're a person that works for a hair salon, but God has put in your heart that you're supposed to own five or six of them or 12 of them, it is hard to say. I, I know I just stepped on somebody's toe. I know I hit somebody. I, I, I know. But anyway, all right, so right now, I need you to speak hope that's out of your reach. One, two, three. Speak. Say something. You about to buy this land? <laughs> Okay. Hallelujah. 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 The free life campus looked like a college. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So speak some hope. Bigger than you. Bigger than you. Man, forget a car. We need a fleet of a helicopters. Glory be to God. To get people in and out. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Free life gonna have a hospital hooked up to it. Glory be to God. Yeah, 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 yeah. My whole family going to be saved. That's it. That's it. All of them. Uncles, cousins, everybody. Come on. Y'all, if you ain't speaking something bigger than you, come on. Come on. I'm going to be at my perfect weight, dimensions, everything in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm going to get my I'm gonna get my youth back in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Huh? If you ain't saying nothing. I know it's tough, too. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Huh? Now, 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 you got to understand, before I even go back into the scripture and read it again, that Jesus is a redeemer. All right? What is redemption? Redemption, okay, if you have a car and you get into a car accident and that car is totaled, if they redeem that car, they take it back to what it was before the accident. The original intent. All right. If Jesus is a redeemer of man, then you go back to what it was before sin. What was life like before sin? 
How was your body before sin? How was your kidneys before sin? How was your vision before sin? Most of us don't have that stuff because we don't show up with faith to redeem what's rightfully ours. We, we, we just don't show up to get it. We just don't show up to get it. There are people uh, for, with stores that are paid for stuff online and never showed up. And so they got the, they got the stuff all over, o- over in a corner just waiting for somebody to show up for something that was already paid for. Woo, and, got it, 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 and, and they still ain't showed up. So everything that you need in the name of Jesus through the blood of Jesus is available. Well, how can I get it? Your faith. So, so, in the last, uh, I guess, year, I've lost 65 pounds. All right. Now, let's, let's see how this works. All right. Let's see how this works. All right. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, how is that evidence of something that you can't see? But it says faith is the evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen is a move made on something that you can't confirm. It's a, it's a move made. You have to make a move on something that has no confirmation in the, in the physical realm. All right. So let's go through the Bible. All right. When, when, um, when God came to Abram. He said, go to a certain place, all right? And I, and I, t- he said, leave your father's house and your kindred. Go to a certain place. And then I'll tell you where you're going after you, after you leave. Yeah. Not, I'll, I'll tell you where you're going now, and then you go. No, leave first. And then when you leave, I'll tell you. Pretty much in the place where you are, I can't even talk to you because there are so many influences there's so many things that's familiar to you. There's so many norms and values that you're already exercising. I need you to get out of a place that you can even hear me. You got to go to somewhere new. Where? Anywhere. Just go. Come on, sir. And then I'll start talking to you. Now, that's the father of our faith, Abraham. And that's how he moved. He moved without knowing where he was going. And then God started talking. A lot of us. Need to know where we where we go. What, no, no, no. Where we going? Uh, where we gonna stay? How much the gas? How much the uh, how much the hotel? Are we renting or are we buying? Um, um. I need to know some specific. No. What shoes am I gonna wear? Am I am I driving or am I walking? Lord, tell me where we gonna get the gas from. Lord, and you got so many questions, and so that's why after your prayer, you hear this. You want answers, and you haven't even obeyed the first word. Go, move. Quit. Where where am I going to quit? Where am I going to get a job from? Quit. How am I going to feed my children? Quit. 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 (laughs) I'm scared. All right, here we go. Faith over fear. If he says quit, faith is quitting. Fear is not quitting. That's it. How you feel is one thing. All right. You can go in faith and still be scared. Just about everything I've done started off being scared, but I went. I'm scared. Peter, 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 get out of the boat. No, 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 no. He didn't tell. He said, if that's you, can I come? Yeah, 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 come on. Yeah, come on. Now, how can a man walk on water? Who said it? The faith. The water and everything about the water had to change its physiological capabilities. (laughs) 
to hold him up because the faith superseded what we naturally walk in. Woo! You want stuff to change. You want government to change. You want people to be fired. You want people to be hired. You want to start moving by faith. Faith is a move made. If you haven't made a move, uh, 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 what is that, James uh, 2.20, without faith, uh, 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 faith, faith, uh, faith without works is dead. All right, so it's a move made. Woman with the issue of blood, all right, did everything she knew to do. She did everything. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go to this in a little bit. But, but uh, she, do, she did everything that she knew to do, all right. She did everything she knew to do. It didn't work. All right? And she's bleeding. The Bible says she was bleeding for 12 years. 12 years. So she's bleeding. She's bleeding. She's bleeding. All right? Then she said within herself. Now, I believe that the Holy Spirit gave her a download of what's getting ready to happen. If I would touch the hem of his garment. Now, uh, the, the, Jesus had on this, you know, they, they wore them long little robes. So that thing was hang, you know, swinging, I guess, in the wind. They walking through. It's packed. It's a lot of people. They like, 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 like they walking through the club. You know what I'm saying? They coming through Jesus, you know what I'm saying, doing this thing. Jesus is going away from her, not going to her. It's almost like I tried to call you, Jesus. I tried to get on your appointment books. You didn't answer the phone. So I'm just getting ready to take mine. So look, he is walking away from her. This is the one of the only times in the Bible where Jesus didn't administer the healing. Which means he didn't spit in the dirt, put it on the blind man's eyes. He didn't tell the ten lepers, y'all go show yourselves to the priest. He didn't administer this healing. This healing was administered by the woman. And so he's, she's walking away, and then he touches the hem. And, but she, the Bible says she said within herself, if I touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. This is where religious people stop. If I say, the Lord told me to touch the hem of his garment, saints, and I will be made whole. Thank you. Thank and she starts shouting right there, right? Starts shouting. All right, what's the missing piece of this story? She never would have touched the hem. There's a move made. Most of us get, we stop at the word, at the prophecy, at the, you know, we stop at the word. The Lord give, the, there's a word, and you, you get the word, you receive it. <laughs> and most of us just wait on the manifestation of, of some prophet's word with no moves made. We think that it's supposed to be brought to us. No, there's a path for you that's, that's been cleared out for you to go get it, but you got to go get it. Yeah. I can't tell you, prophesy to you, you're going to have 10 hair salons and God's going to bless you and, and then you go back and you, you go to sleep. And you, what you think? It's just going to come to the house? You, you see what you think? Folks just going to knock on your door. Look here. We got a transfer truck full of uh, hair salons. Where you want us to put it? You get, I mean, because because this is how people get confused at at a prophetic, uh, prophetic ministries. And a lot of times we uh, uh, experience the prophetic, but the prophetic sometimes make us lazy because we expect everything to be brought to us because the word was brought to us. Somebody's got to make a move. Somebody's got to make a move. You got to go see something. Man, man of God, go look at land that you came by. And we just, and we, and we, and we just hey, I don't know how it's going to happen, but in the name of Jesus, boom, 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 and, and start calling. Start calling like you had the money. Start, start talking to the real estate agent. All right? Don't be like, you know, calling and be like, how much this land? This land, $3.8 million. Shoot, I ain't, no, don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. You got, you got to stay in your faith. You got to be, okay, okay, we'll call you back. You'll call you back. We'll call you back. It'll be there. That's what I tell my wife. It'll be there. You know, what, what they say, what they need, what they need. 15 grand by in the morning, it'll be there. I don't know where it's going to come from, but it'll be there. It ain't my job. That's, that's not my 
job. That's not my job. That's not my job to figure out what it's going to come from. That's not my job to, to worry about money. That's not my, I, I just have to have faith, and I have to move on it. I, I, I have to see we are in a season that, that God for, 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 I don't know, man, over 15, 16 years, we've gone to cities and states and stuff, and we've gotten great honorariums, and we've, we've done well. And the Lord is like, okay, now you got to go without that. You got to go by faith. Now, going at that time was by faith. But the Bible says it's going to take you from faith to faith, glory to glory. So glory is the is the, the product or the evidence that your faith works. That means that, that you start getting the glory, a glory of a thing. Uh, 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 if you put a seed in the tree, the glory of it is its fruit. All right? So when you take when you go to one faith, you get that glory, and then it's going to take you to another faith, and you'll get that glory. So it, it's almost like this. You, you, you never arrive. You're on a constant journey with God. You never arrive. Forget, forget about that. You ne- you're on a con- when, even when you get successful, there is another level. All right, so it's almost like this, and and this is what people have to understand when things start happening in their lives. All right, if you are in the, let's say you go to the fifth grade. Y'all remember being in fifth grade? You know they knew you. You were doing your thing. You know everybody. You know. And you were the biggest kid, or you were the tallest kid, or you were the most popular kid. Now you move up a level to the sixth grade. Uh, in in um, Florida was where I'm from. Uh, sixth grade and fifth grade, there you know you got elementary school, then you got middle school. I, I know it's different, um, but uh, you got elementary school and then you got high school. So uh, in sixth grade you start another grade, and then in ninth grade is high school. Is that the same here? Okay, so <coughs> when you go to sixth grade. Even though you've gone to the next level up, you are at the bottom of the totem pole. Come on. Come on. You don't you don't know you don't know nobody. You don't, you know some people. Everything seems bigger, and you seem less significant. But you've moved up. When you go into another season in your life, everything seems different. It seems like people are getting on your nerves, but you've moved up. And then you master that. And then you go through eighth, uh, middle school, and now you're in eighth grade. Now you know everybody. Now you're balling again. But when you go to the next level, you start back over. You're at the bottom of a bigger system. You've moved up. You see what I'm saying? And so over time, you're going to master that one. And then call, same thing. Every level up, you start over, seems like. All right? So it's like I know I'm on another level, but the enemy want to make me feel like I fell off. I didn't fall off. I came down. There's a difference. Watch this. I didn't want to. Be a public success and a private failure. A lot of people are hanging on to last season because they don't want to sacrifice everything that they had. You, all your teachers knew you in, in eighth grade. You had, you, you had a lunch program where they were taking care of you. You don't want to leave that system to go to something that you don't understand or know. All right? A lot of us have held on to careers with the anointing to go and do much more, but you're so comfortable with the familiar that you don't want to move up to the next level. And moving up to the next level may have you to leave the familiar. Oh, man, we want that. We want the assurance that when I make this move, God, that everything is going to be there. That's not faith. You got to move. All right. So let's go through the process of, of, of prayer. And how you pray this through and how things come. All right. When you pray, 
God hears your prayer. He hears every prayer. All right. God is constantly communicating. All right. Uh, what's the best, I guess, gospel station here? One, 1079. All right. So 1079 is constantly communicating. They're, they, they are on right now, right? All right. We can't hear them because we're out of range. Even though they are constantly communicating, we are not in a place to hear. All right. They never stop communicating. When you drive out of town, you're out of range. They're still communicating. All right. God is always communicating. Are you in the right place to hear him? Let me let, let me let, let me, I'm just let you sit on that one real quick. All right. And so, all right. So God is always communicating. Now, let's go through the process of prayer. All right. When you pray, God always answers. When you pray, God always answers. Might not be what you want. He gives you a download of what to do. Faith is making the move that you heard. Most of the times, your faith is shot down by the first attempted confirmation, which means you go to a person to get them to confirm what God said to you. And if they don't confirm it, a lot of us put down what God said. Are you willing to go without somebody signing off on what God told you to do? How many of your dreams have you shelved because you went to somebody who didn't have a vision big enough as yours? David, no, not not, uh, not, not David, uh, Joseph. I see y'all bowing to me. What? brothers throw him in the pit just to deliver to a place till they bow to him. All right. So, so, all right. Uh, entrepreneurs, if you, if, if you are working on a place in, in a place and God has given you a vision, um, you can't complain about how you're living if you haven't made the God move. I'm sorry, I gotta say this stuff, man. This is—I uh, feel so mean, Mama. I feel so mean. I just, you cannot complain if God has told you what to do and you won't do it. All right. Uh, what, uh, we just got through worshiping and worshiping through music and singing, um, but the other part of worship is obedience. That's, that's the part you do when you leave here. All right. Well, yeah, we worship here, but but uh, 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 when um, Abr Abraham was getting ready to go sacrifice Isaac, he said, I'm getting ready to go to a place and worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He called worship sacrificing his son. But really, he was calling worship obedience. That man, you're going to get, wait a minute. First of all, I don't have a son till I'm like 100. Then you tell me that I'm going to have kids that outnumber the stars. Look at the sand. I have kids. And now you're telling me to go kill my only son? All right. Though I analyzed it, and I feel afraid, all right? You, you want me to kill, bro? Only thing I wanted in my career 
was a Cadillac. We from we from Florida. That's all I wanted, bro. I wanted me a Cadillac, bro. Escalade on them things, you understand? Cadillac. So, I, so the last, you know, 10 years, I kept me a Cadillac. Mama kept me all black. Gotta have it, baby. So I had this Cadillac for three years and sold that one, got me another one. Just, just, I want me a Cadillac. That's my thing. That's all I want. Y'all can have all that. Baby, if you want a house, fine. I want a Cadillac. <laughs> and the Lord told me, okay, now, I need you to voluntarily repossess your Cadillac. I want you to give me your Isaac. I want you to give me your Isaac. Man, they gonna think I'm broke. They gonna think I fell off. They gonna They gonna think, Lord, they I've been pulling up on folk for 10 years, Lord. So, so I, so I gave them jokers my my Cadillac. <laughs> gave the keys up. Week later, uh, I don't know if Willie is here uh, on on the radio. Willie Moore Jr. Uh, y'all y'all know Willie. Okay, okay. So Willie, so Willie is my brother, little brother. You know, we've been in a relationship for a year. Uh, he's one of two people that's only written a song for me. Um, um, and so a week later, <coughs> I'm giving him my testimony, like, bro, like, Lord, man, the Lord done, done told me to give up my Cadillac, bro. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we driving, you know, we got a top, we got a top hole. We got, we, we, we still got a, a, a vehicle, but it ain't, the, it ain't the lack, you know what I'm saying? Ah. I used to say the only lack in my life is a Cadillac, you know. And so, I, so, um, so I'm telling the man, you know, brother to brother, yeah. And, and in the mid, in the middle of the conversation, he like, man, I'm like, bro, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, man, God just told me to give you my sprint, my sprint. <laughs> Week later, he gave me brand new, well, not brand new, but it it runs great. Uh, 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 debt-free Sprinter van for the church that was redone. And we, we go out now, now check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Now, even though it's Cadillac, you know that 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 note was fifteen hundred dollars a month. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we're doing it, but it was, it was, it was. This this truck is nothing. It's just it's, it and it rides great. At, but the whole thing was, the Lord gave me what I needed for this season. Now, am I going to get my Cadillac back? Of course. <laughs> uh, what? Bro, this is how we're going to get out the truck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so, but, but in this season... In this season, I am willing to follow what God told me to do. So here was my, here was my prayer, right? Uh, my my wife, uh, she liked little box cars for some reason. She like, so um, so so she 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 loved box cars. So we get a box. So 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 at the time, we got we got two cars, and the kids like riding with mama. Nah, 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 you know, I'm tough. I'm tough. And so, they say, hey, who y'all want to ride with? Everybody jump in the car with mama. So, and so, so it pinched me a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. I, was, I was like, nobody, like, nobody? <laughs> so, my prayer, check this out now. You got to watch what you pray for. 
My prayer was, Lord, let, let my family grow closer to each other as we grow closer to you. Okay. You want that? Give me that Cadillac. So now you got one car. You got a big, you got the big, this big old truck and one car. So everybody has to ride together. You gotta watch an answer prayer. 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 Because my family has gotten so much closer with one vehicle. Now I get, I get to pull up. I get to pull up. I get. To, I get. I get. I get, I get, I get I get what's the rest? What's the rest? What I'm, what I'm forgetting? Tell me. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we pray. Um, Lord, let us grow closer to each other as we grow closer to you. Let us grow closer to each other as we grow closer, closer to you. Tell me your faith now. Now, um, uh, the biggest house we had was a fifteen thousand square foot house, a lake and a pool. All right. Um, my kids were babies, but I was in the rap mindset. Uh, even though Kingdom God was blessing me, I, I just wanted. I just wanted that thing, all right. So, 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 so we doing it, all right. So at this point now, you know, now he tells me to start the church. The first thing I gotta give up. So we moved from a 15,000 square foot house uh -huh. to a 3,200 square foot house. I had to give away everything because I had no space. Yeah. All right. So we go there. So then, you know, still doing the ministry, looking at houses, couldn't find anything. The, the rental house we didn't like. So we moved into an, another house. And that was a little bigger. Kids upstairs got a basement. That was cool. It was, you know. They didn't like that, and then the kids upstairs. So when we finally bought a house, no basement, no upstairs. All the kids on the same floor. Uh -oh. I, I know, Miss, I'm trying to get to it. What you want me to say, baby? Tell me. Huh? Where were we? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, baby, God. Yeah, I got to tell you, my friend. Okay, so, so. Uh, we had, we had moved, we had moved, and, and just um, really um, had to get some stuff straight. And um, my whole pride, I was just, forget the pride, bro. Just I'm just doing what God told me to do now. You know, I ain't got no Cadillac, I ain't got no, no dope house. I just, I'm, so before we bought our house, I had to move with my wife's mom. But check it out. That was the best move I've ever made. One, everybody was forced to live uh, gr uh, grandma got four stories. Oh. All right. So she gave us the second floor, which had four rooms. And um, and so we were forced to be close. Share ev everything was sharing. We we w I, 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 there were there were there were things that I started to learn about my family that I didn't know. Oh. Things about my daughter I did I didn't know. I was able to just walk in the boys' room. They making music. We mm, 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 mm. we just doing everything. Mean, I just get to walk in the room and just see. Because when when they were upstairs, I never would go up there. My daughter was in the basement. I never would go down there. So there were days that I didn't see my kids, even though I was home. You talking about faith? I'm talking. About, I'm still on faith. And so it's like. All right, uh, now, uh, uh, I'm in this house, and when I, f when we found the house that we, we just bought, uh, it's like, all we need is this. I don't really need the east wing of this house. 
it, it's it's dope, but it's only dope when you're showing it to somebody. If your life is only dope when you're showing it to somebody, th- when you when you only when you only showing it somebody to somebody, you, you're getting the happiness or, 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 or gratification that you need. Then you're out of you're out of place. You need to get to a place that brings you genuine joy. And so when we bought this place, moved out of Granny's. Now Granny's Granny was cooking every day. Oh Lord, oh, come on. Of course it is. The whole work. Oh my God, Granny! Granny made me like, oh Lord. I mean, she was laying it down. They had a, a, a big, which we helped them to get in that um, big yard. Everything was was perfect and peaceful until I got to the place where I wanted to move. I I got into myself. That, that God says to this. Ooh, don't let your obedience be an embarrassment. Yeah. You following me. Why are you embarrassed? You doing what I said. Why are you embarrassed? Now, in the last couple of months, well, month, month or two, we've been in that house two, two, three, three months. I'm talking not, like y'all think I'm talking about years ago. No, I'm talking about where I am right now. Boy, the floodgates. But I don't want you. You don't want to achieve a certain height on your own ability. Come on, come on, make it plain. If I would have kept going that way. We were doing a hundred dates a year. My kids wouldn't have known me. Come on, make it play. I would have been a public success, but a private failure. So God took me back to the, even though I was on another level. Even though I was on another, you see what? You see, even though I was on another level, He took me to a place where I had to, where I felt like I was going back, but I really had gone up. So now, my, my, I'm going to tell you one more thing. This, this is probably the hardest. My son, who is a great basketball, uh, football player, and, I, and I'm going to bring it, I'm going to challenge you after this. A great football player. I mean, he was just doing his thing. He said, Dad, I, I don't want to play football anymore. One, one, because his team was losing. He was good, but they was losing. He hate losing. All right. And so um, the whole summer is like, no, nah, I don't want to play. So football season came up. Uh, this is last fall, and um, he he was he goes to they were going to a private school, and now we're go, we're in public school. Um, and the private school says we want him so bad that we're willing to pay. He don't even have to go to school here. We we'll just we'll, want him to play. We'll pay for everything. We want him to play for us. All right. Took, I said, I'll bring him. He said he doesn't want to play. I'll take him to one practice. I took him to practice. They put the pass on him. They had everything ready. He's outrunning everybody. He's hitting. Bow! He catching. I mean, he. I'm like, bro, play football. He comes out. I can see it on his face. There's six coaches, including me, saying, what you going to do? We surrounding you. And put his head down, and I said, "All right, y'all, we're gonna let. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna take him, and we're gonna let um, him make a decision. Like with that type of pressure, I thought he was gonna say yes. He just he he didn't say anything. Watch this. So so I take him home, and I sit him down. And say, bro, so what you wanna do? What you I'm like, man? I I just don't wanna play. I wanna do music. I just wanna stick with my music right now. I said, that's a, that's such a mature decision for an 11 year old. So he, so I said, all right, well, if that's what you want to do, well, I, I get you, in my, I get you, I'll get you in my studio, and we'll work. And he's leaving out of the room, and I heard God, God. He says, give him all of your equipment. I know he 
my son and all, but come on. And the Lord's like, nope. Give him everything. So I, so I brought him in the room, and, and I started crying because I felt the anointing of God. And I, and I brought him. I said, man, this is yours. 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 And I started giving him his legacy. His, not mine, because he's my legacy. But he has to start creating his own. And so, and so, I almost missed the moment to empower my son to, to fulfill the call of God for his life. So God told me to give because, man, that, that, all I do is music. That like, God, that's the only thing I got left. I ain't got no Cadillac. We ain't got no crib. We, we. Now you want me to get this man? Listen now, you talk about moving by faith. You talk about moving by see the oil that I walk in has been paid for. Because if you ain't willing to give up your life, okay, that boy, that boy is so bad. He makes beats. He, he he released a record last year, another one this year, and about to drop another EP with a single. He like, Dad, I'm drop. He come. This is how they come in my room. Dad, I'm about to drop my single. I'm about to drop this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to, I'm, I'm, you know, got, no. I, I thought that single, I thought that was going on the album. Now that's the single. I got the album coming later, but I want to drop my EP. You know, can you mix my songs? But I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm like, I'm so proud of him because he's talking like a grown man. He's talking like a king. And so my, but my faith. See, everybody can give a couple dollars. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tie, tie. Uh, see, see, I start faith to faith, glory to glory. I started off giving offering. Then I started giving tithe and offering. Now what I give is all. Peter said, I've given you all to follow you. And Jesus said, okay, well, no man has given all of this stuff for the sake of the kingdom and not receive a hundredfold in this lifetime. My interpretation says with, in, with uh, persecution, but I believe it's through persecution when you go through it. When you've gone through it, 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 when they talk about you, they laugh at you, when you start your business and you got to downgrade your car because you got to invest in it, when you're when you, when you, when you going and you're doing the vision and it don't look good. Forget about how it look. Now, man, I, I can care less what somebody say. I'm talking about faith. What has God told you to do? All right, here we go. Let's frame our future. All right, Ezekiel, the, vi the Valley of the job, Dry Bones, uh, uh, chapter 37, Ezekiel 37. All right, can these bones live? Lord, you know. Can this business exist? Lord, you know. Can we get this land? Lord, you know. Can we? Lord, you know. All right, so then the Lord said to him, prophesy. All right, I'm going to tell you to prophesy, which means Speak about the future. All right. Most of the time we talk from our current experience or our past. That's how the enemy keep getting us. But what we have to do is imagine. That's where your hope is. All right. You prophesy out of your hope. You are using mass maximum faith. You prophesy out of your hope. You don't prophesy out of your past. You don't prophesy out of your history. You don't even prophesy out of your present. So, uh, so in Ezekiel, he, he, he was like, man, can these bones live? Basically, I don't want to say they can't, but it looked like they can't. But you know, that's why you're asking me. So God is now telling him what to say. And it happened like he said it. All right, so if there is something that God put, how many have a dream or something that hasn't happened yet that God, you know, put in your spirit? Okay. 
Everybody, okay, put your hand down. Now, even, even kids, I want y'all to dream like kids right now. All right, bro, get, 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 give me that, uh, that piano thing y'all was playing earlier. And just turn it down some. Give you some atmosphere. All right? You got to give birth to this thing. Now, it, it is hard to say something that you don't think that's going to happen. It, it comes out weird. Yeah, real low, real low, real low. Yeah, real low, real low. All right? All right. You know what? Stop real quick. Stop real quick. I'll tell you when to turn it on. Stop real quick. Stop real quick. You talking about my God? Stop it real quick. I'll tell you when to come on. Get ready. All right. So, everybody close your eyes and dream about what God told you he was going to do with your life. You about to use your maximum faith. All right. Now, there may be a battle that's going on in your spirit. All right. That battle is saying that this ain't going to happen. Don't say this. This dude crazy. Blah, 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 blah. All right. That voice... Once you start talking, that voice stops. All right? If you start counting in your head and then open your mouth and start saying something else, that counting stops. All right? So the power of life and death is in your tongue. It's not in your mind. All right? The ultimate power comes out of your mouth. So you got to say the right thing. So, so at this point, you have to prophesy to your dream. You have to prophesy to what's going on. You got to speak of the future. You cannot talk about how many times you've been turned down, uh, what you did right in school, what they're going to say, who's going to help me, all of that. You cannot come from that place. You got you to gotta feel like it's going to be there. All right? There's a confidence. Don't talk from your past because your past will have you depressed. It'll make you not want to say, say, say nothing. It'll make you, it, it, uh-uh, no talk. Jesus has wiped away that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about your sins. Don't worry about your grades. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the devil. None of that. I need you to dream. Not yet. Not yet with the music. Get ready. Get it ready, but turn, uh, turn it off. All right. I, I need you to be confident, confident enough to say what's in your spirit. And God is put this thing in your spirit, so you gotta say it, all right. But you need to dis describe it. You you need to go full detail with this thing. You cannot be afraid, all right. You cannot be afraid. You cannot be afraid. You know what? Even if you are afraid, you still gotta do it, all right. There, there's a big dream. Some of you, man, man, I can't do this, man. I'm too old. Uh uh, God will restore it, all right. So I need you with, with the whisper to start talking and describing your dream. And, and, and so what I start doing is I start saying it and then thanking God for it. The biggest dream you could think of. Think about something that you can't possibly do. That God told you. Now, by speaking it, you're giving birth to it. Everything starts at the word. Everything starts with the word. Come on, say it. You got to say it. You got you to use the power of the tongue. The, the life and death. The power of life and death is in the tongue. The power. The power. So you got to use it. You got to use it. Your faith. Use your faith. Use that faith. Use that faith. Forget it won't happen. It will 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 happen. I'm living my dream. I'm living my dream on another level. It will happen. It will happen. Power God is in here so strong. It's a different way. It's a different feel. It's happening right now as you as you say it. You can't just close your eyes and not say anything. You're dreaming, but you have to say it. You're bringing it to life. You have to say it. You got to say it. You got to say it. It is tough to say. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. But you, you, you say it. Say it. That through all of the stuff that you've been through, God's going to still make that dream come true. Ah, yes. Yes. Some of y'all are, 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 are going and more confident in the word of a doctor than you are God's word. No. 
He's going to tell you what to do. He's going to tell you what to do. He's going to tell you what to do. All right. Now that you said it, you said it. All right. Now, let me see your eyes. Now that you said it. Step two. Listen. Most of the time in prayer, we don't listen. We talk the whole time. You ever been in a relationship with a friend that talked the whole time and you can't get a word in? That's how most of our prayers are. But Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We send you. Lord, thank you. And, and you never listen. This is a, it's a relationship. So relationship means he talk, you talk. Y'all, 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 y'all having a conversation. So at this point, in the presence of God, based off of what he told you to do, you're going to picture or feel in your spirit the next move to make. He might say, go home and Google or call or, or that move is very essential because most church folk feel like God's supposed to do everything and you're not supposed to make moves. All right. You're going to listen for a little bit. Here's the third part. Your confession. All right. If if you let's say uh, somebody said that uh, the doctor said that you have a disease and you see yourself healed, Lord, I thank you for my healing. I see myself healed. I see myself walking uh, like I walked before. The, the, I see the and I, and I see it. I see it. And I thank you for it. I praise you for it right now. And then boom. And then the Lord says. Call the doctor and get another appointment, but I want you to call a different doctor. All right? That's the move that you have to make as soon as you can. The confession is before you call the doctor, I am healed. I can walk with both of my legs and such and such and such and such and blah, and it's going to be like this and like in Jesus' name. That takes confidence, conviction. That's what you're about to do right now. So when you feel the confidence, cast not away your confidence because it has great recompense of a war. When you feel the confidence that God has already done, because that thing is already done, faith said it's, it's a done deal. All right? You pray for it, you spoke it. You can hear God telling you what to do. And now I need you to stand up. Whenever you feel the confidence and tell everybody what's about to happen to you. Well, what if it don't work? It will work. Well, what if it will? We don't live with what if. That's not faith. What did God tell you to do? Well, then do it. Let's go. It's going to work. Let's go. But the devil, man, forget the devil. He's defeated. We don't, I don't, man, whatever. Let me tell you something. There's more up. We take, we're going to take that plane trip today. And as soon as the wheels leave the ground, we are in the air. It's more up than it is down. There's a whole nother world that God want to take you in. Don't get stuck. All right. Here's your confidence. Here's your confidence. Here's your confidence. Now, in the room, I feel some people are afraid. You're afraid because you, you never stepped out to tell people this part of it. And I'm afraid to say it because... What if it don't, you cannot think like that when you're walking by faith. You walk by faith and not by sight. You, do, you walk by faith and not by sight. You don't go by what you see. You go by what you know. All right. Here it is now. I need people on the count of three. Whoever it is, y'all start standing. You, you, the room is, 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 is tight enough that I can hear you. And you need to talk loud. Don't get up. I need some confidence about what's getting ready to happen. All right? 
And we call this thing forth, that whatever you say in this atmosphere, it will come to pass. I, I agree. See, when, when people start agreeing with you, the prayer of agreement, when we start agreeing with each other, that's, that, that, that's, I'm adding more power to, you, to what you need. I can't keep coming here every Sunday and doing church every week and still stuck. We got to start tapping into that power. Jesus died for a reason. You got to go through the blood to start getting your stuff. Why? Because there's a way that king's supposed to live on this earth. And God wants you to come get, come get, come on, man. You got to take this city. These people need to see you doing this so this, these people can stop being desperate for guns and all this other stuff and drugs. and all. They got to know that Jesus is the way. Come on. So when you feel it, yell it out. Come on, somebody. Start us off. Say it. Say it, man of God. Yes. Come on. Yes. I know that's right. Yes. 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 I'm jumping on that. I got a full-time staff, too, in Jesus' name. I need somebody with some confidence to stand up and start talking it. Start start des describing your future. Prophesy what God is putting into your spirit. If you don't want to be where you are, tell us where you're going to be in the future. Yeah. 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 Let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy. Say out loud what God has put into your spirit. Say out loud what God has put into your spirit. Prophesy. And the world will adjust. Things will change because you're talking. This is why the world has taken over because the church won't say nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Broken dreams be put back together. Hallelujah. Some of you have been violated. Be healed in Jesus' name. Woo! Open up your mouth and prophesy. The enemy don't want you to talk. That's where your power is. He wants you to take what he's going to give you. But when you open up your mouth and prophesy, you change your world. This is not just it. This ain't it for me. Woo! I'm gonna be able to do music on a major scale. If you have a I don't have to do that attitude, then that's fine. But I'm telling you, the power of God is in here. This room is fertile. Hallelujah. Prophesy. Say something. Kids, say something. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I will be able to speak and things happen. I will be able to pray and things happen. My faith will be restored. My faith will be strengthened. Glory be to God. I receive it. I got the number one record in the world in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yeah, bo Hallelujah. Prophesy. Hallelujah. Say what's hard to say. Say it. Say it out of your mouth. 
Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Even if it come to tears, trust God. Speak with confidence. That's where your power is. Speak with confidence. Speak with confidence. You got to trust God on this. Show your faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing. Just under the book. Hey. Prophesy, say it. Ezekiel said, so I prophesy as I was commanded. And then he saw what he was saying. Don't have more confidence in a doctor. Don't have more confidence in the news. Don't have more confidence in the internet than you have in God. Download something into your spirit. You got to have more confidence in your relationship with God so that you say what he said, so that you walk in what he wants you to walk in. This church will run this region, said the Lord. This church will run this region, says the Lord. I'm talking about government officials. I'm talking about everything. Go ahead, Brandon, hit the button. No, he, keep going. There's other things. Do not be afraid to speak it. Did y'all hear what the man of God said? You're not responsible for making it happen. If your God says, I own it all, I am the I am. All you got to do is speak it. See, I know that was a word from God because that's the exact thing we prayed and talked about this morning in consecration. Speaking what he's told us to speak. And we don't do it for fear because we're afraid that we're going to be responsible for making it happen. Just speak it. Listen to what he said. I'm giving you the keys. Whatever you bind, whatever you lose, I will back you. I say Kjo International Financial, and I come to Kjo International Financial, yeah. and I say, um, my name is Pastor from Morris Way, and I have this vision, and I explain the vision to you, and you say, hey, let me let me get back with you, and you go home and you get with with Miss Ramona, and you say, I, I, this vision, should we just sponsor the whole vision? Yeah, okay. So you come the next day and say, um. And yeah, why don't we just sponsor everything? Just blank check. Blank check. I, I believe that y'all gonna operate in, so 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 K Joe Financial Institution will back what you do. How dare us go out with the support paid for its blank check and go out there like I mean, maybe we should just hire two people because if it's paid for If he say just send us the the the, the invoice, how dare we send one invoice? Ooh. He will look at us and find it disrespectful. That, dang, I don't want my help finding. God is sitting up there like y'all want my help finding. I told y'all it's yours. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want it? Well, whatever. I told it. We just, we prayed this morning, and God said, very, make it very clear. Just speak it. Yep. When you put your key in, have you ever, anybody ever had a drop box or a, a, a safety deposit box? You got your key. The bank got the key. Y'all go in there together and turn. And it unlocks something that's of value, something that's put away and hidden. He said, when you put your key in, God, give the church the power. I'm putting my in. We're working it together. God said, I've already backed you. 
I keep thinking about Daniel. When he prayed the first time, God said, I already sent it. Now I'm waiting for y'all to speak it. See, the principal, the, the David side was caught up for 21 days. Daniel was fasting for 21 days. He kept praying and speaking it and praying and speaking it, and it had to loose. Some of y'all stuff is just caught up, literally yeah. caught up. Yeah. And, and, and the man of God says, just speak it. Just speak it. Some of y'all need to say, God, loosen. He need my blessing need Michael to come. Yeah. It's caught up. It need Michael to come down and, and get get this this word from me. Got to get get this principality. Got to Gabriel away. I'm telling y'all what I know. Yeah. God has already approved most of the stuff y'all act. At. Now it's up to y'all. It's literally up to y'all. I, I see my husband. I see him. Like, I may not be able to, you know, eat dinner with him yet. <laughs> so, but let me learn how to cook his favorite. I don't know what his favorite is. So, I'm going to just learn Italian, Chinese. I'm going to learn it all. So, when he comes, like, I got like Italian. I've been working on that Parmesan for months. That's a faith move. It's a movement. Yeah. Being there cooking, like, I wonder, I'm going to set his plate like this. I'm going to just set it. I'm, I'm going to get it. He's going to sit right there. But faith, start to vision and faith this thing. It's a faith thing. It's the substance of things hoped for.